so now that we have created projects, it's time to create build configuration for our projects. In order to create a build configuration, we need to go inside a given project and there you will see create build configuration button. Another way of accessing this button is clicking on administration link on the top of the screen. You will see that if you click on projects on the left side of the screen, there is root project as you already know. If we expand any of the projects, you see the list of existing build configurations. We haven't created any, so this list is empty. If I click on a project, you will see all the configuration of this project. And one of the sections is build configurations where you can again see create build configuration button. So there are two ways to access this button. Let's go back to the main page. So if I click on .NET Core projects and click on create build configuration, there are two ways. One of them is from a repository URL. One of them is manually. It doesn't matter which one you choose. Either way, either you provide the link to source control system first, or you give the name to the build configuration and then connect to source control system. It doesn't matter which one you choose first. So let's give this one a name. And before that, let's have a look at the source code that we have. On GitHub, I have created an organization and there are two repositories on that organization. One of them is CICD demo and one of them is CICD demo 2. It doesn't matter really what code is in it. Don't worry about that for now. All we want to do is to access this code and check it out. So there are many different ways to access a source control system such as Git, SVN or Team Foundation Server. The one that always works and is the easiest one is basically using username and password. So if I go to people section of this organization, you will see there is a user called Team City Octopus. I have created this user specifically for Team City so that Team City can access GitHub. It's not a good idea to create a real person's user username because if that person leaves your team or company and you disable that user then your team city is going to break so always make sure you have a user specifically for team city so if we go back we want to build the code that is in CICD demo. So if I click on that, obviously if I want to clone this source code on a local machine, what I need is the clone URL. Make sure that you are on HTTPS for now. Click on the button that copies this link to clipboard and we go back in here. Now in TeamCity, we need to provide a name. The name of the build configuration can be same as name of the repository, CICD demo something like this when you create a build configuration team city will generate a unique id as well and we click on create the first thing we need to do is to create vcs root vcs stands for version control system and build configurations need source control system so that they can fetch the code and compile it i don't mean that it's impossible to have a build configuration without a source code it's not impossible but it's very uncommon so because because GitHub is a Git repository, we click on Git and we need to provide a name. For example, we can say CICD, something like this. Fetch URL is your link. We are not pushing anything back to GitHub for now. And authentication method should be password because we want to use username and password. The username, if you remember, was Team City Octopus, this user. So we just copy it to clipboard and it has a password that I type it here you can click on test connection and you get connection successful and we click on create so as you see now we have a build configuration that has a vcs or version control system opposite to the build configuration name there is a run button which if i click on it my build agent becomes busy because this box becomes basically blue and if I click on agent, uh, it's idle because that was very quick. And my build configuration now has one build, which is build number one, and it is success. That means that there was no error. Now, if you want to know what's going on, once again, I show you, if you click on this success, this is basically the report of your build. And if you want to know exactly what happened, you have to click on build log. Looking at this build log, we will see that it says checkout directory and there is a folder name. Always when you run a build, TeamCity will create a work folder and a unique folder in that. And we call this unique folder as work directory or working directory. So when somebody speaks of working directory, they are referring to this unique directory. 
and directories are unique on the build agent so it's impossible that you see another folder with the same name somewhere else on that agent now if i go to because i'm on a mac if i go to finder i can take you in here and you will see that in that work folder or working folder or working directory the source that was on github is now cloned on my local machine or build agents folder and we can now compile it so that was it it's not a sophisticated build configuration yet but what we managed to do is that we managed to create a build configuration we managed to connect it to github and check out the code and basically have a successful build